What's up guys, it's Zuzu from Zuzu's Globe. How's it going? All right, let me tell you about a really, really cool trip that I have taken while in Mexico. All right guys, if you are in Cancun or nearby at the Yucatan Peninsula, you must visit those sites. This is a day trip by Easy Tours where we visited the stunning Mayan city of Tulum. Then we went to have a nice bath in the cenote, which I'm going to talk about a bit later. And then the coolest ruin, in my modest opinion, Coba, where you can hire a bike and cruise around the jungle to see different ruins, different temples, and so on. Are we ready? Let's go! The Yucatan Peninsula is the site of the Crater Impact, which was created 66 million years ago by an, an asteroid of about 10 to 15 kilometers in diameter at the end of a Cretaceous period. Tulum was one of the last cities built and inhabited by the Maya. The site continued to be occupied until contact with the Spanish was made in the early 16th century. By the end of the 16th century, the site was abandoned completely. The word Tulum is a colonial one, and it means wall. The site might have been called Zama, meaning City of Dawn in the Mayan language, because it faces the sunrise. The village was a major crossroads for trade from land and from sea, making it an important trade hub. There are three major structures of interest at the Tulum archaeological site. El Castillo, which is the palace, the Temple of the Frescoes, and the Temple of the Descending God, also known as a Honey Bee God. Tulum is one of the most fortified Mayan cities in the world and one of Mexico's best preserved local historical sites. Here the guide is explaining to us about the protective walls. The fourth wall was the coral reef, which is the second biggest one after Australia. Hey, and don't forget to watch my video till the end. Why? YouTube algorithm. If you don't watch it till the end, it will work against me. So be nice. The enemy's ships were unaware of the coral reef and they often crashed into it, made it impossible to attack and take over the city of Tulum. Okay guys, moving on from beautiful Tulum to amazing cenote experience. Let's flow. Obligatory shower guys. A cenote is a natural sinkhole. A combination of geologic events and climatic changes has led to the development of this unique ecosystem. Massive cave systems were formed by gradual dissolving of the highly porous coral limestone. These caves are called solution caves because they were formed by the slightly acidic rainfall dissolving the alkaline limestone.
Cenotes were the only source of water in the jungle for the Mayan civilization and are considered as sacred by the Mayan people. The Mayan consider cenotes to be an entrance to the underworld where their gods live and their spirits reside after death. Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula is low and relatively flat with no surface rivers or streams. However, before the ground run the two longest underground water systems in the world. 353 kilometers long, one of them, and the other one 270 kilometers, which have directed the distribution of human settlement on the peninsula for the last 13,000 years the world of the cenotes and underground rivers. What an awesome experience to swim in the cenote. There are turtles, there are many interesting stuff to look at underwater. So make sure you have your snorkeling mask or you hire one basically. I thought he's smoking something up, but he still has a bow in here. So it's amazing. We've got, behind me, we've got a chill out area. So if you fancy catching some extra time or getting dry, if you have plenty of time, then why not to chill here so what is so cool about this tour guys is that you once you get a chance to see all the cool archaeological sites all the fantastic ruins or temples uh, you get your knowledge about the history and so on and the culture and you get a chance to have some fun swimming in cenote the water is super crystal clear you know the amazing stuff that you will see underwater mind-blowing so far i gotta say easy tours doing a very good job um, I gotta say very affordable quality uh, tours for people who are traveling on the budget who maybe don't have millions to spend I do recommend right so far so good yeah boy. okay guys just a quick reminder do not forget to watch part two which is the trip to Copa an awesome bike ride now it's time for lunch time we went to a pretty decent buffet uh, as you can see you can find food for the meat meatarians and for the vegetarians so not too spicy either for people who do not like spicy stuff yes there is a little watery dessert called flan and after that we're going to visit a mayan village what a stunning experience let's go Okay, so I am on a tour with a compound on an easy tour and they just gave me this sticker just in case if I get lost with the label easy it's a bit awkward to have that sticker for a woman because you know someone might think I'm easy, right? Or maybe they just think I take it easy <laughs> 